Naughty girls. Two households Can't both alike in dignity. In fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny. Where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life, whose misadventure piteous overthrows, do with their deaths bury their parents' strife. His name is Romeo, and he is a Montague. For my only hit, too early seen unknown and known too late. Prodigious birth of love it is to me that I must love a loved enemy. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou will not. Be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. She speaks. Be some other name. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called. What wit? What light from yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is his son. She speaks. There's nothing. Quack one. Her eyes discourses. I will answer it. Screened in the night, so stumbleth on my counsel. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself. Car is an enemy to thee. have not yet drunk a hundred words of sound. But wait, had thou not Romeo and a Montague? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself though not a Montague. Montague. It is no hand, no foot, no arm, no face, no any other part belonging to a man. Take your last embrace. Lips owe you the doors of breath. Seal with a righteous kiss. A dateless bargain to engrossing death. Boy, thank you. 
drugs are quick. Thus, with a kiss, we're dead. We're dead. I embrace thee with arms open. Through this the winter of my discontent will I find the summer of my being. Juliet, Juliet, wherefore art thou, Juliet? Deny not our lifeless dwellings, for are we not together in peace and harmony and beyond the physical boundaries of conform? So tell me, what is Montague and Capuletti? Would our love be any more significant if name difference we were? True love knows not of titles and ting and ting. And if death more so than life can respect a state of sacred matrimony, then make light of our darkness and embrace the keepers of our souls. of sorrow and pain. But if two people share the same beliefs and appreciate the harmony of togetherness, then body and soul will move as one to the tune of love and the unquestionable likeness of being. Yeah. 